Good morning, Gladiators. Today is Tuesday, March 23rd. Today we, um, you should have completed your essay from yesterday. And we're going to go over, we're going to review four square and um, thesis statements. And there's going to be a thesis check, um, which is like an exit ticket quiz in um, Schoology that you'll need to complete. So I'm hoping that you completed a Foursquare yesterday before you wrote your essay. Your Foursquare is used to plan your essay and it makes writing an essay a lot easier if you have an idea of what your topic is, your position, and the reasons um, to support your claim. So when you are giving a prompt page, the first thing you have to do is read the quotation. And then you're going to just really think about the quotation and ask yourself, what does it mean in your own words? The quotation is there to help generate ideas. You do not have to write about the quotation on the prompt page. And then they're going to give you a think about statement. Um, taking a risk means acting without knowing whether the outcome will be good. None of this is what you have to write about where it says write an essay, this is the prompt that you must address. You have to answer this prompt for you to even get a passing score um, on STAR. So the prompt says write an essay explaining why it is sometimes necessary to take a chance. Now if I were you, I'd write this prompt down and make sure at the end of your essay you go back and read the prompt a second time, third, fourth, fifth time, and you put a big giant check that you answered this prompt when you are done. So you're going to take a position on the prompt. Why is it important to or necessary to take a chance? So you would take this prompt, rewrite it, and state a claim. And then you're going to think of reasons to support your position. And you should be brainstorming or listing ideas on um, a notepad or scratch sheet of paper. There will be um, a place for you to type in ideas and notes online when we um, take the star test. So you should create a four square. You're just going to have a blank sheet of paper. Just draw your lines. On box one, you should have a hook, a bridge, and a thesis statement. You need those three things in that box. Looking at your four square that you completed yesterday, do you have those three things? Now you don't have to write in complete sentences, you can just write phrases or ideas down. Sometimes I go back and write my hook at the end of my paper because it's hard to think of something at the top of my head at the beginning and so you can leave a space for your lead later and go back to it. The bridge is going to just provide more information on your topics and maybe some background information to kind of get your reader invested in your topic. Now we're going to we're going to talk about what a thesis statement is, but you should have written a thesis statement, which is the controlling idea, <clears throat> in one clear sentence or two sentences, and include the reasons to support your idea in this box. So you'll reword the prompt as to make your thesis statement. The thesis directly answers the question, and then you're going to list your reasons for support. So it is your position or your stand on the topic, plus your supporting reasons. So here's an example. Why is it important to learn from mistakes? We should learn from our mistakes. I just answered the prompt, right, that saying it is important. So we do not run the risk of repeating our bad decisions, reason number one. And so we can gain confidence to make the right choice the next time we are in that situation, reason number two. Answer the prompt, we should learn from our mistakes, bold statement, two supporting reasons. So your hook is where you will grab your reader. Um, there is a Captain Hook worksheet that you should have, we did in the past. You can look at that worksheet for ideas. And as I mentioned before, sometimes it's easier to go back after you have finished your first draft. The bridge between the hook and the thesis statement is just extra information, one or two sentences that connects your hook to your thesis statement on topic. 
So here's our example. One of the worst pains in the world comes from a broken promise. Hook, bridge. When we keep a promise, we are telling others that we value them. We are also reinforcing the belief that in ourselves that we are trustworthy. Thesis. It is important to keep promises. Now we know what our, our prompt is. Why is it important to keep promises? Because here are our reasons. It demonstrates good character. That will be our first body paragraph. And builds trust in relationships. Second body paragraph. Box number two. You should have these three things. A topic sentence. In this case, my topic sentence would be that keeping promises demonstrates good character. Taking my first reason from my thesis, making it into a topic sentence, then I'm going to find an example for support. I have to give some sort of um, text to text, text to self, text to world, some example to support why keeping promises demonstrates good character. I can use an example from a book, from a movie, from a TV show, from real life, from history. So you should have, and you don't have to write your entire paragraph, just ideas or what you're going to write when you start your draft. A topic sentence, a supporting example, and then a transition sentence. Um, tr transitional sentence gives the reader a clue as to what paragraph will be coming next. So you could say, um, keeping promises um, demonstrates good character, but it also builds trust in relationship. It also helps people trust you. Now our next paragraph is going to be about being trustworthy. The same thing with box number two. You should have a topic sentence and a supporting detail. The last box will have your conclusion. You're going to restate your thesis in a different way. Take your prompt and just say it a different way, and then you're going to end with a bold statement. Okay, so you should just list these things in your Foursquare. So make sure that when you are completing your planning sheet, you have all of these things in the box. So now let's review thesis. A thesis, um, you're going to start with your position on the topic, and then you're going to add your reasons for support. And here are some, some ideas and some um, good things to remember for a good thesis statement. You should support one side. A thesis statement should not contain two conflicting ideas. If two ideas are in conflict, it is important, it is impossible to support both of them. Here is a conflicting viewpoint example. Virtual learning is good in some ways, but most students want to abolish online learning. Okay, so you have good and bad and so you can't support both of those in your paper so that um, now you have a conflict. So here's only one side of my thesis. Virtual learning provides a good alternative to learning because students are able to work at their own pace and develop good time management skills for the for future careers. Take a stand. A thesis takes a stand rather than announces a subject. Try your best to not talk to your readers. The thesis of this paper. So you don't have to announce that you're writing a thesis. We as educated readers will know that this is your thesis. The thesis of this paper is the difficulty of solving our environmental problems. You're making an announcement. Do not talk to your reader. Just tell us. Solving our environmental problems is more difficult than many environmentalists believe because of lack of funding and political obstacles. Remember that your thesis is your main idea. It is not the title. It must be a complete sentence or sentences that express in some detail with your reasons what the claim you plan to support. Here is, this is the title, Social Security and Old Age. This is like the topic of your paper. It is not your thesis statement. Continuing changes in the social security system make it almost impossible to plan intelligently for retirement. Okay, and please be specific rather than vague or general. Here is a very vague general sentence. 
Ernest Hemingway's war stories are very good. Okay, so it's a claim, but it's not specific enough because it's missing your reasons. Hemingway's stories help create a new prose style of empowering extensive dialogue, shorter sentences, and strong Anglo-Saxon words. So let's practice. Using this prompt page, write a thesis. Write an essay explaining why it is sometimes necessary to take a chance. Take a moment, press pause, and write a good thesis. Remember, a thesis has your position and reasons to support your position. Here is a model paper. So this scored a number four. You will be scored um, one through four when you write your star essay in a couple of weeks, and this is an example of a four. The prompt is still the same, taking risks. A lot of people struggle with the concept of taking chances in their lives. That's my lead. Sometimes people think that if they don't know what the outcome of their actions will be, then it is not worth taking the chance. That's my bridge. However, there will be a time in everyone's life where taking a chance is the best choice. That's my position. Now my reasons. Because it could end up making all the difference, body paragraph one, and potentially changing your future, body paragraph two. So if you'd like to read the entire essay, you can click on this link and it'll take you there. So now that we have gone over Foursquare, introductory paragraphs and thesis, I want you to um, try your knowledge and take this exit ticket and then go back and revise your essay. Fix your four square. Fix your introduction paragraph. Make sure you have everything you need and include including your thesis. Remember that your essay from yesterday uh, being a good leader is a test grade, and so we are taking the time to revise it to make it really good so that you guys can make a good grade on your on your first test for this grading period. If you have any questions, please let me know, gladiators. Um, if not, I hope to see you in Zoom, and have a great day.